Okay, here we go folks. Uh, next little job here, that boat I just got done. I'm going to go ahead and on that uh, Minn Kota uh, V2 power drive uh, trolling motor. It's got a foot control and uh, found this online. This is an addition they uh, make to go cordless. So just received this in the mail. I'm going to go ahead and uh, install this on this motor and uh, see if it makes it easier to control. I actually believe this is the second one of these motors I had. I had one on that small fishing boat that I built a deck in but um, it was an earlier version but the foot controls on these neither one of them work good so I hope this is a solution because those foot pedals are uh, very hard to operate and this is uh, supposed to make a difference so for say around $150 we're gonna find out okay then here's the rear view of this evidently in this piece there's some kind of brains it's gonna tell that uh, cordless receiver how to work and these two connections here, one plugs into the control on the boat and the other one is for the foot pedal, so if you want to run both of them. Okay, here we go, out on the boat, uh, got that uh, thing installed, only took a few minutes. Just plug in uh, the cord down there. All they do is send two longer screws along and you put this plate directly over your other plate and plug it in, it's ready to go. Worked right away, I'll show you here from up on shore how it works. Okay, here's the motor. You can see right here is the hand control. All I'm doing is pushing these buttons. You'll see the motor turn out there. Hopefully this will fix this out of control situation. This motor to me does not work very well and it seems like a fix for the motor. Click this button here. Turn your motor on. You can see and you can just set these speeds as slow as you want. Turn it on to run it. Sorry about the wind here blowing pretty hard right now, but I wanted to be out in the sun so there you go. Click the other button, turn it off. I've seen it works about 15, 20 foot away, but I get out in the boat here, I'll uh, let you see uh, how it works out there. You're going to get ready to go. Go. You filming? Mm -hmm. Okay, start filming. Here we go with the uh, remote control trolling motor. You can see it's being used here. Day out fishing. Don't know if the trolling motor helped. Alright. Right. Okay, here we go. Uh, gonna add additional part here to that uh, wireless remote. I'm gonna show you what I did here on my seat. Realize this isn't for everybody and it is cordless, but I mounted this thing here on the side of my seat. Put a cup holder in there when i sit here no matter where i turn this my control goes with me these controls i realize uh, i used it around my neck hard to use and and uh, since i sit down all the time i like it right here um haven't really need to use my foot control and hook it in with the motor but being when i'm sitting right here runs it right back and forth and and uh, I'm gonna make it here so you can pull it off so all I got to do is uh, take the strap off unclip it you can take it with you and I put it on here and I primarily fish sitting down all the time so wherever I turn to cast it's on my right hand control I'm left-handed so I cast with my left hand run all these control buttons with my right and using a bait caster you can't put this on your rod they showed on TV like that but it doesn't work because uh, how are you gonna use your thumb 
on that control at the same time you're controlling the boat. So I uh, use my right hand when I'm not cranking and keep my uh, left hand in the control all the time. So makes it handy here to get to my uh, cups on the right side. Run the control from here. Used it multiple hours here. Been working good so far.